hello everyone and welcome back to glancer before we get started if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update my previous video i have discussed about unsupervised systems and in this video i'm going to discuss only about semi supervised systems so after so this is the last video about system paradigms and in the next video we are going to discuss about what are the softwares that we are going to use in word sense disambiguation okay now let's get started so you all know what is meant by semi supervised in short we can say it is the combination of supervised and unsupervised systems okay again what is the main aim of this particular system is in order to tackle the problem of word sense disambiguation okay so here we are going to deal with labeled data as well as the unlabeled data okay so this particular super and semi supervised systems aim to leverage the strengths of both supervised and unsupervised approaches so whatever the disadvantages we have in supervised systems and whatever the dis i mean advantages we have in unsupervised systems those are the strengths to the semi supervised systems okay so now let's let discuss what are the key principles of the semi supervised systems the first principle is one sense per collocation what is mean by one sense per collocation so collocation is nothing but you are going to decide the meaning of that particular word which is causing you disambiguation by the surrounding words so in a particular sentence if you come across the surrounding words then the word which is causing you disambiguation problem will share the same meaning in that particular sentence so this is what is said in one sense per collocation and the second is one sense per discourse what is mean by discourse i think in my second video of nlp series i have discussed about this discourse discourse is nothing but you can call it the set of sentences or you can call it paragraphs right so you actually when you are discussing i mean when you are discussing about a certain paragraph that means you are clearly known what we are discussing about right so if you are discussing about a particular domain if you are see instance if you are discussing about money there you in that particular paragraph you came across this particular word called as bank this bank is related to money so it doesn't possesses any another meaning right i mean another meaning in a sense it doesn't mean that is river bank it is a bank which is related to money only because we are discussing about the topic called as bank so in that particular thing you don't uh, get this problem called as word sense disambiguation so these are the key principles of semi supervised systems i hope you understood it okay and the uh, algorithms you are going to use in this particular semi supervised systems is the first one is yarovsky algorithm who introduced it it is introduced by yarovsky this algorithm is foundational for semi supervised word sense disambiguation so this particular algorithm is used to uh, tackle the problem of word sense disambiguation so how we are going to do this is first first thing you are going to do you are you are going to take the set of examples i mean few examples you are going to take that is what is mean by initial c selection is nothing but you are going to select only few examples and then you train those few examples maybe that examples can be labeled or unlabeled so while training you are going to what you are going to do is you are going to convert this unlabeled data to labeled data okay so this is an iterative process the first time you do you will get uh can you will convert some unlabeled data to labeled data and the second time some some more things will be adding and at the same time if you find any errors i mean if you find any words uh, that causing errors then you have to remove it okay and you have after training you have to apply it on new data application is nothing but new data on new data you are going to apply that particular algorithm so this is nothing but yarovsky algorithm 
so let's see the extensions of variation i mean extensions and variations of this particular yarovsky algorithm is s the first algorithm is sal double am algorithm so what this algorithm will do is it will group words that translate into the same word in another languages it is same as cluster see in uh, in some in one language you will be having this particular word and in another language this word will be called as some some word and you take the same word which is having the same meaning but in different languages you have to group all those words so this is the main aim of this particular algorithm okay and the second thing is unsupervised to supervise the combination so what you are going to do in this is use the unsupervised methods to create labeled data then train supervised models on this data this hybrid approach aims to combine the scalability of unsupervised methods with the precision of supervised learning so what we are going to do in this particular algorithm is first you have to use the unsupervised methods in order to create the label data how we are going to create the label data first you will be having something called as unlabeled data and then by using this supervised methods you are going to convert those unlabeled data to labeled data and on this label data you have to train the supervised models so here you can clearly see that you are combining the unsupervised and supervised models in order to achieve semi supervised so and this combines the advantages of both unsupervised methods and supervised methods so this is about the algorithms that you are going to use in semi supervised systems and let's discuss the advantages of these systems so what are the advantages so the first thing it reduces the need for ex extensive manual annotation see if you have labeled data then it's okay but if you don't have labeled data then it doesn't require any manual annotation right so it reduces the need for that manual effort okay the second advantage is it utilizes both labeled and unlabeled data making it more scalable than purely supervised approaches again in this particular semi supervised systems you are going to use labeled as well as unlabeled data that means you can easily scale the data sets here okay and coming to the limitations what are the limitations of this system sir performance depends on the quality and representativeness of initial seed examples here we uh, discussed about the initial seed selection right so i have said that you are going to select only few examples during training process so the performance of this semi supervised systems is mostly dependent on this initial seed examples only so if you take uh, i mean if you take good seed examples maybe you will be getting high performance but if you take the seed examples which are not that much good then maybe the performance decreases and the second point is potential noise from incorrect automatic labeling through mitigating by constants like one sense per discourse see while you are uh, doing this conversion of unlabeled data to labeled data there might be a chance that you can get incorrect data okay so this is also one of the limitation of this particular unsupervised systems and coming to the performance studies have shown semi supervised methods to perform well often achieving accuracy in the mid 80% range when tested on standard data sets see the performance of the semi supervised systems are better only i mean they are going they are performing very well they are achieving about 80% accuracy when they are tested on some standard data sets so this is about the semi supervised systems so in the next video we are going to discuss about the different kinds of softwares that you are going to use in order to tackle the problem of first sense disambiguation so thank you so much for watching till end i have noticed that many of you were watching my content but haven't subscribed yet if you feel that these lectures are really helping you then please do consider subscribing because that will give me the boost to create more content like this and also don't forget to like and share with your friends who might find it useful see you in the next video